Let's go live. Let's go live. Live Q&A. Breakfast. Comment your questions. Comment any questions you got. I'm going to do speed round answer some questions while I'm eating breakfast, all right? That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. All right. Comment your questions. Live Q&A. Let's get it in. I'm about to eat breakfast. Show you what a healthy breakfast is supposed to look like. Show you what a healthy breakfast is supposed to look like. And don't mind me. This is always how I dress when eating breakfast. Even if you catch me, even if you catch me at Denny's or Olive Garden or Outback for does Outback serve? That's how much you know I don't got to eat. Does Outback serve breakfast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you catch me out in public eating breakfast, this is how I'm always dressed. So, yeah, watermelon for breakfast. What questions y'all got? You know, if it ain't got black seeds, you don't need. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me move this phone closer. Can't find seeded food anywhere in in Boston. Uh, I've never been to Boston, so I can imagine. I can imagine. Let me see. Well, I just I just made. Yeah, bananas. Come on, now there's so many. I made a video on this four years ago. That did like two million views, three million views. Baby bananas only. The regular bananas y'all be eating, them regular degular joints, they're called a Cavendish banana. Many of you have never done your research on them because you didn't even know they were called Cavendish bananas. Cavendish bananas are a genetically modified clone, identical to each other. Look it up. So you don't think I, I know I might look crazy sometimes, but anything I say, you can easily research it, all right? The regular bananas you consume, they're called Cavendish bananas. They're genetically modified clone. They're a clone. They're genetically identical, which weakens their immune system and makes them more susceptible to disease and pests. So you know what they do? They put more pesticides, more stuff on them to keep them from getting ate up by the little little creatures. But you eat that and you eat those chemicals. Organic also. I already did a breakdown of how organic is very poorly regulated. Most of this organic still has harmful chemicals on it. So I'll teach you how to clean your fruit also. Let me see. Let me see. I'm live on backup page and main page right now. If you're on my main page, follow my backup page. If you're on my backup page and you thought it was my main page, follow my main page. T Walk Dog Fitness and T Walk Dog 2. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, they're supposed to be small. They ain't supposed to be all regular and all that. All re- regular, right? It's funny, the stuff we call regular would be the weirdest stuff. If you're allergic to bananas, then yeah, this conversation wouldn't be for you. How come you said no bananas? Hopefully you're paying attention because I just broke it down. You can have baby and bur- where am I banana? You can have baby and burrow bananas. These are more nutritionally dense they have more vitamin A, more vitamin C, more potassium. You say, oh, I can't have bananas. Where am I getting my potassium from? Relax. Baby bananas have more. All right? They have more. They're also lower on the glycemic index. So they're not going to spike your blood sugar levels as much as the unhealthy Cavendish banana. The Cavendish banana also causes more mucus in your body than almost anything. You wouldn't want to do that, right? But nobody be telling you this. You just put stuff in your mouth and you don't even know what it is. And to me, that's pretty freaky. I'm just saying. You know, you're putting something in your mouth, you don't know what it is. Where it came from. Who was just up inside. <laughs> it's pretty freaky. Somebody comment some ones if you feel what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, let me see. What other questions y'all got? Yeah, burrow bananas are good. Burrow bananas you can use to make like a... Uh, it's good for making like a potato... Tight tastes, yeah. So you can uh, you can hook them up to make them taste like potatoes, mashed potatoes, all that. You know if the watermelon ain't got black seeds, you don't need because that means you're missing out on nutrients. I already broke down the whole watermelon thing. What they do to make a watermelon without black seeds is they take a yes, there's male and female watermelon. They take a female watermelon with 22 chromosomes, a male watermelon with 44 chromosomes. They crossbreed it. It makes a sterile hybrid with 33 chromosomes, which is why it comes out with no seeds. And it's sterile, meaning it can't have kids and can't reproduce, which is why you can't take these little white seeds 
that are only in the fake ones, right? I mean, that's all they have, and you can't plant them and regrow another watermelon because it's sterile. Somebody coming. Free game. Yeah, you know, links in the bio. Join the Holistic Health University where I take you from beginner to expert on holistic health. Detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. What herbs, how to mix them, how to make them, how to prepare them, where to get them from. Links to everything you could possibly need. Zoom calls with me. Also, weekly yoga classes. Also, weekly workout with a live personal trainer. Also, take you from beginner to expert on 10 different streams of income so you can get your money right also. 20 plus hours worth of holistic health content. You get my ultimate detox bundle, which I used to sell. It's $500 worth of programs you get for 100% free. You get my libido bundle. If you're struggling with erectile dysfunction for men and women struggling with libidos, struggling with reproduction, fertility bundle. You get all these for free when you join the Holistic Health University. $29.99, a dollar per day to change your life in every aspect. Get your money right so you can live right on the beach like me and you can look at the ocean. I'm about to walk out, do some grounding, get some vitamin D from the sun, right? But you're, but you're getting vitamin D3. You also want to make sure you're getting vitamin K2. But if you're eating vitamin K, your body converts that into vitamin K2. Things like mushrooms and things like that. You could also consume lichen, which like grows on mountains and on rocks and on trees. You can consume that. It's like a moss type thing. That's a great source of vitamin K2. Free game! But it's important to be well-rounded. Well-rounded. You follow me? You follow me? By the best oranges or sour oranges? They sell them at this farmer's market by me. Sour oranges are the really the only real orange you should be consuming. But they are what they say. They're sour. They taste more like a lemon. If you had a sour orange, comment a one. It tastes like a lemon. But it's great for making like sauces or squeezing on your um, salad, stuff like that. My bad. My bad. I'm neglecting the backup page. Y'all got any questions over here? I forgot I'm live on both. I ain't done that in a while. I got to get back to it. And I lost my third phone and I just found it. It was under my bed. I lost it for two months. I never looked under my bed. I usually go live on main page, backup page, TikTok, and then I have my laptop open live on YouTube, but I've been, I've been chilling lately. So this is dead. That's why I ain't got it. That's why I ain't live on TikTok right now. Let me see. What state am I in? I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. What other questions y'all got? What other questions? Flood the questions. Flood the questions. Flood the questions. Yeah, I'm about to walk down to the beach. As soon as I'm done this, just figured, hey, I'm about to sit here and eat breakfast anyway. I might as well help the world out a little bit while I do it. Answer a couple questions. Give some motivation. Whatever. And look super, super fresh doing it. Like, <laughs> It looks super fresh doing it. Why are you wearing that on your head? Because it's my life and I do what I want. <laughs> and it looks fantastic. That's why. That's why. You know, you know. Do you plan on working with who, who, who? I don't know who that is. Video explaining that on my YouTube channel. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm from West Virginia. I'm from West Virginia. Can't you hear it? Can't you hear it in my voice? A little country. I'm from West Virginia. I grew up around people, mainly people from Philly. So that's why I'll be saying Joan all the time. That Joan, that Joan, that Joan. You know, ultimate freedom. Every day is Friday. I realize today's Friday, but every day is Friday. This is what I teach you on my holistic health and finance university so you can get your money right too. Get your money right too. Oh uh, yeah, you can rub, rub chickweed salve, like a chickweed bomb on your child for dealing with eczema. Chickweed's a herb, great for the skin. Uh, not for a one-year-old, but for like 13 or older, you can do a chickweed tea, but for a one-year-old, you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. Iron tonic. If it's bitter, it's better. I'm out right now.
I'm out right now, but I do have the raw herbs to make it, so I'm about to brew some up, actually. If it's bitter, it's better. Uh, yeah, I recommend a book to you all, Eat Right for Your Haplotype, for those of y'all asking about eating for your blood type. That can be beneficial. That can be beneficial. You on point. Uh, I don't recommend Moringa. Acid reflux. Uh, actually, avocados are great for acid reflux. Boom, boom. Avocados are great for acid reflux. But you need to stop eating the foods that cause the acid reflux in the first place, which are all your acidic foods. Your uric acid from your meat, your carbonic acid from all the unhealthy baked food and starches, your lactic acid from all the eggs and dairy, phytic acid from all the beans. Got acid every meal of the day. You're wondering why you got acid reflux. Huh? Anything for kidney stones? Anything for kidney stones? Remember, any question y'all got, I give y'all some game on here. But if you want a detailed protocol for every single disease and illness, like let's say kidney stones, for example, you would go to the kidney stones and kidney disease issue Ill, uh, protocol in the university. Detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. Plus 24-7 support to ask me or my group specialist questions. 24-7 in the private Telegram group, private Facebook group. Thousands and thousands of happy members getting results changing their life, which is why I post brand new dramatic healing testimonials every single day for three years and three months straight. I never miss a day. And I leave the names in them so you can verify they're real. So yeah, I play around and I joke a lot because I keep this I keep this healthy stuff a little fun for y'all. Keep you engaged. But I understand. I don't play games when it comes to your health and getting you right. I signed up. Let's go. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, Bossy B. Shout out to you. Yeah. Anything you need. Yeah, I just sat here and actually recorded like four new videos. So I'll probably drop those next week or something. Yeah, you can go right. Hopefully that ain't a video. Right there on my profile. Slide through. Thousands and thousands of testimonials. I have to keep making new tabs because I run out of space. Because I think you can only fit... 150 like highlight saves in each one. So I have thousands. So there's tons on my page. Go to my profile, click on them. You'll see testimonies for cancer, diabetes, kidneys, cholesterol, weight loss, weight gain, digestive issues, anxiety, you name it. You name it. Video testimonials before and afters. I leave the names in them. Live testimonials from my lives. Real people who just joined the Holistic Health University for 29 bucks. Changed their life in all aspects and made some money while they was at it too. Because they learn stocks, they learn crypto, they learn real estate, they learn Airbnb, learn credit repair, learn business credit. By the way, all the members, last week I dropped a new free ebook for y'all. The um, ebook on how to build business credit, that's in there. If you're dealing with anxiety, boom, anxiety relief capsules combination of herbs to repair your central nervous system, help calm your body down, calm your nervous system down, calm your brain function down. So you're not all antsy like I used to be. Many of the herbs that I use to get rid of my severe anxiety, if you're due to my page, I highly recommend you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist and click my life story. It's like six parts now. I'm be breaking down my life story so you can get a little more in depth about me, how I got into this. All that stuff, the illnesses I dealt with, the illnesses my family, <clears throat> my family dealt with, all these things. But I talk about my severe anxiety, which is even when I tell a lot of people with anxiety my story, they be like, "Wow, I never even heard." That's like the highest level. So if I can get past it, you can get past it. Yeah, herbs, whatever you need. Links in the bio where it says herb shop slash meal prep slash juice prep. Steam moss gel, iron rich capsules for those of you that are anemic. Actually, most people are anemic. They just haven't been diagnosed low iron, especially on this average American diet. So that's going to be beneficial for anybody. It's going to help with your energy levels. Y'all say, why are you always so energetic? It's too early to be yelling, pay attention and all that stuff. Because my iron levels. I'm either sipping on iron tonic, 
First thing in the morning, two to four ounces. You can see I'm out right now. I'm about to make some more. And so my partner sent me my 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 uh, delivery. And um, in the meantime, got the iron rich capsules. All the herbs you need. All the herbs you need. Dandelion root, Kalawala, blue vervain. So much more. Jamaican sarge gorilla root. You know, that's one of my favorites. Jamaican sarge gorilla root. Great for repairing the nervous system. Uh, do you have a lupus protocol? Yes. Once you sign up for the university, click the autoimmune disease protocol. That's also my life story, if you haven't watched it. My mom was diagnosed with autoimmune disease about 15 years ago. I told her she had about three years to live. Here we are 15 years later. She's alive. Doctors were wrong, as always. They told her she had lupus, and they told her she had scleroderma, and they told her she had blah, 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 and they told her, no, oh, you got blah, blah, blah. You got to do that. So now you need this antibody. Well, now actually you got this. So you need this antibody. Actually, that's not working either. So you need this antibody. Actually, well, you shouldn't use herbs. Because those are going to be bad for you. So just use this antibody. Yeah. And I said, shut your face. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah, just hop on here to eat breakfast. If it ain't got black seeds, you don't need... You already know, just crush me a little baby banana too. Where you find ripe watermelon? Uh, again, I go to Brothers Farmer's Market out here in uh, in the Miami area. I found a new farmer's market too. Uh, I don't know what it's called. The yellow, something yellow. Y'all in uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. What's it called? Yellow something? Every Sunday? I was there last Sunday. Y'all should have pulled up. Y'all should have pulled up. I was there last Sunday. I found seeded watermelon. I found soursop. That's where I got the baby bananas. Uh, what else? Yeah. If it ain't got black seeds, you don't need. Make sure you sign up. Before you create your login, there's a video. It says mandatory tutorial to watch. It tells you exactly how to get all the free eBooks, how to get into the Facebook group, the Telegram group, all that. But for you to just ask, it's pinned in the private Facebook and private Telegram group for the ultimate detox bundle that you get for free. Anybody know what that farmer's market's called? Nobody in the uh, Miami area here? Yellow, something with yellow. Yellow green farmer's market. Thank you. Yeah, I was there this last Sunday. I got a watermelon juice. They had the press juice stand right next to the pork stand. So I was standing there in line and I had to just keep smelling. They had it. You know how they hang up the pig on the on the thing, the rotisserie thingy, thingy thing. I don't know what it's called. And I'm like, dang, you letting the, the fumes of the, of the pork seep into my watermelon juice. Come on now. What are you doing? Crazy. Crazy. I'm going to need them to rearrange. <laughs> Wasn't feeling that. <laughs> Wasn't feeling that. You was there? I ain't see you. Or you didn't say what's up. Delicious. What other questions y'all got? What other questions y'all got? Yeah, they was seeping the pork. They was infusing my my watermelon juice with with pork with pork fumes. Crazy. What other questions y'all got? No more questions. Y'all good? Y'all good? Yeah, you know, you want to detox and cleanse, boom, get this combo right here. The detox capsules with the parasite cleanse. Again, if you watch my video, I got tons of videos on that. Many of you aren't losing weight and improving your health because when you're eating, you're not eating, the parasites are eating first. You consume, oh, I'm going to eat some watermelon. And you eat it, and then the parasites are, hold up. And they eat that joint, and then you never get the nutrients, and you still malnourished. You ain't losing weight. You got your colons backed up. You need to get the parasites out your system. So for that, get the parasite cleanse. If you combine it with the detox capsules, boom. Two in the morning to each. Boom. Boom, boom. Everything you need. Also, the pressed juices, the watermelon sea moss juice, soursop sea moss juice, tamarind sea moss juice. Everything you need. But yeah, I'm just having a breakfast before I go out and get me some sun. I believe it's 80 and sunny like it has been 
damn near every day for like a month straight out here in Miami. So I'm loving that. How do you detox without losing weight? I always get that question. You can't. Whoever lied to you and said you could, they're a liar. They're a liar. Liar. Okay? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay? Because if you're detoxing, you're cleansing the toxins, the preservatives, the artificial flavors and colorings, the trash backed up in your colon, in your intestines. It's been there for years. For many of y'all that have never, never done a proper detox and are eating Burger King and whatever else, the unhealthy vegan food at the vegan fest you went to this weekend, right? All the impossible meat and beyond meat and the fake shrimp tacos and the Ben and Jerry's vegan version in the frozen section and you thought you were doing something healthy. If you eat all that and then you detox and you don't lose weight, you didn't actually detox. Hate to break it to you. Somebody comment, free game. What about women over 50? Yes, I help women, men, all ages. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so detoxing without losing weight is not a real thing. You're going to lose at least a little bit. Even if you're skinny, you should lose at least a little bit. Or you, nothing, nothing came out of you. Nothing came out of you. All right? Pay attention. <laughs> I feel good. How do you not feel good? See, because I remember, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch my life story when the doctors told me I had Crohn's disease and all that. Oh, you breakfast. I'll be at school or whatever, work. I'll be hurting all day. Like, man, now I start my day with watermelon or something like this. I just feel energized. My stomach feels amazing. Start my day with two different ounces of iron tonic. Boom. That cleanses your system also. So you're going to be using the restroom properly. Also, if you're eating three, four meals a day, why are you not using the restroom and going number two, three, four times a day? That's an issue. That means you're backed up. That means you're backed up. Not good. Not good. That's called normal. But a lot of us, hey, we ain't... We ain't went, I'll be getting messages. I haven't went number two in six days. Like, what? That's like, wow. And that's a very common message I get. Very common. What other questions y'all got, though? I'm just going off the top. Mm. Mm. Almost choked on the seat. What other questions y'all got? What's your YouTube channel? My name's the same on everything. On TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. T Walk the Hawk. Just search T Walk the Hawk. T W A L K D A H U L K. T Walk the Hawk on YouTube. I think my YouTube, we about to hit 30,000. About to hit 30,000 subscribers on YouTube 11 years later. It was a long grind to get popping like this and to get smiling and listen to my weird ass. But the problem was, the first eight years of me doing videos, I wasn't weird. I was always weird. I just, I just didn't want nobody to know how weird I actually was. So, you know, I was trying to be cool and professional and calm and all that stuff. And get people to like me. Didn't work for eight years. And I said, all right, I guess I'm going to I'm gonna have to do what I do in my free time anyways. And be weird and say random stuff. And wear colorful stuff like I like to wear. And crazy stuff. And say the same stuff. Amplify it a little bit. Boost up my voice a little bit. Talk a little more shit like I like to talk shit anyway. <laughs> and boom. Pop, popping. Hundreds of thousands of shares. Millions of views. For saying the same shit I've been saying for eight years. But oh, I just need to be myself. Some of you, you just got to be yourself. I've always been weird. I, my best friend, I did. he's in one of my videos on YouTube too. He was like the one telling me not to give up. I was about to give up like. Three, about three years ago. I'm like, man, I've been doing videos for eight years. Like, nobody cares. I just must not be, my personality just must not be enough. And uh, I must not be smart enough. I must not be good enough. My editing, something ain't right. He's like, yo, the problem is, he always told me, like, you're not being yourself. 
Like, even everybody from my hometown thinks I'm quiet and all that stuff. Only him knew because I was my best friend. You know, when you with your best friend, you just, yes up. He's like, yo, if people seen how you actually act <laughs> when you're like, when we're just playing 2K or when we're just chilling or whatever, now you actually are, you have like one of the funniest, weirdest, like most outlandish personalities I ever heard of in my life. He's like, if you just do that and be yourself in videos, people are going to fucking love you. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And one day, Again, watch my life story. I got into a bad car accident, almost died, all that stuff. And now the next day, I said, all right, I'm being myself because that could have been my last day on earth. And all this knowledge I got, people would have never gotten all this. But but personality and the weirdness of my weird ass would have never got seen. <laughs> and I feel that's doing injustice for the people because I know I can help somebody at least smirk a little bit. When you clicked on the live today and even just looking at me, you at least said, hmm, what's this, what's this weird ass dude up to now? Hmm. At least I brought a smirk into your life if you ain't learned nothing. <laughs> I at least gave you an extra smirk per year. I bet that. We're going to do the analytics on smirks per year <laughs> after viewing my face. <laughs> Give me a roll with you. Keeping it real with you. Start tracking your smirks per year after following my page. I guarantee you your smirks per year will go up. <laughs> your smirk analytics will definitely improve after subscribing to my page. If you don't learn nothing about food, you don't learn nothing about finance, you don't get no motivation from me. Your annual smirk rate will definitely increase. And that's all that matters is to show you pearly whites. And hopefully you listen to my video where I teach you how to make your own toothpaste. You can have your own pearly whites and you ain't got it. You can have less cavities, which is going to make you happier and have more smirks per year. Somebody comment smirks per year. That's the goal. My only goal in life is to increase the worldwide smirks per year, whether that's through improving your health, <laughs> whether that's through making you laugh, whether that's through making you make more money, whatever. The only thing that really matters in this existence, this thing that we call Earth, this universe thing, this Big Bang, whatever you believe, the two atoms hit each other in the middle of nowhere and created all this, but then where was the middle of nowhere that they were in that was already created for them to be, where was they floating around it, or God that made you and this and that, or whatever, or you know, or if you was one of the two things that was on Noah's Ark, that, <laughs> whatever, the goal is Smirks per year. Thank you. Thank you, So Mara, or however you say it. Smirks per year. That's all that matters. And smiling improves your health. The more you're laughing, the more you're smirking per year, the longer your lifespan. That's a fact. I, I, don't, I ain't got the scientific document on that, but I know there's some studies showing this smirks. But they may not word it like that because they ain't got the clever catchphrases like me, you know. But smiling improves your health to keep it boring. But to make it more fun, smirks per year. That's a fact. That is a fact. Free smirk game. Thank you. Thank you. Free game smirks. Yeah. Smirks. You got to keep it. I got to keep it fun. Even when I'm teaching health, I have to keep it fun. If it ain't got black seeds, you don't need it. If the fruit ain't got seeds, you don't need it. That's just funner than saying, if it doesn't have seeds, then it's... It's more than likely genetically modifying. It's unhealthier for you. No, just say, if it ain't got seeds, you don't need. Instead of saying, bitter herbs are actually healthier for you because such and such. If it's bitter, it's better. Instead of saying, the coconut you're drinking out of the aluminum cans is unhealthy. And it should be pink because it naturally. Just say, if it ain't pink, don't drink. Instead of saying, you should look at the nutrition label. When you're grocery shopping, so you can know what's in your food. Instead, say, you got to get freaky when you're grocery shopping. You got to smack that thing, hit it from the back, bend it over, arch the back, put your face in it, and then read the nutrition label. See how much more smirks per year that could possibly bring you? <laughs> See how much more fun that just made life? Oh, I'm dropping seeds. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? What do you think about, gotta hit it from the back when you're grocery shopping. 
Gots to get freaky. What do you think about Bobby Approve? I don't know what that is. Is that a person? What is that? Is that a page, Bobby Approve? I don't know. Bobby Approve must not be popping enough because he ain't on my radar. <laughs> so I don't think about him. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Any other questions or y'all just want me to keep talking shit? I'm fine with that, clearly. <laughs> I talk to myself more than I talk to people anyway. Are you swallowing the seeds? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Dame Dash, pause, 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 pause. Oh, uh, yeah, I spoke on duck flour many times. I don't recommend it because it's a harsh form of detox, especially for people that have no experience with herbs. And you go right into the duck flour because you've seen a viral video on it. And then you get real sick, sicker than you should be. And you might even end up in a hospital because you don't know what you're doing. You just took a big old piece of the duck flour and now you, and now you daffy duck. Pollen allergies, I've been getting the game on that too. Rosemary leaf, butter burr, stinging nettle. Boom. Tincture. Boom. Seasonal allergies gone. Free game. I've been told y'all that. What other questions? Yeah, so I just answered that for allergies. What's your course give? What doesn't it give is the question. Here's a little sample of like what the, gives you everything. Detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. What herbs, how to mix them, how to make them, how to prepare them, where to get them from, links for everything. Access to my private Telegram, Facebook group to ask me questions 24 seven. With responses for me daily or my group specialist who I trained up. Uh, what else? Take you from beginner to expert on 10 different streams of income. Also, 20 plus hours worth of holistic health content. You get all my eBooks for free while everybody else is paying $79 for the ultimate detox bundle. All the members of the university get it for free. All my libido bundle, which isn't even for sale anymore. All the members get that. The fertility bundle for the women out there struggling to conceive or men get that for free. What else? My new eBook on building business credit. My new eBook on stocks and REITs. All that for free. Thousands of dollars you get for free for $29.99 per month, a dollar per day to literally know exactly what to do when it's time to heal yourself naturally, get a family member right, get your grandma right, get your son right, your daughter right, your cousin right. If anybody comes out with an illness, oh, my third cousin on my daddy's side got high blood pressure. Let me log into my account and go to the high blood pressure protocol. Boom. Give it to them. They good. Bang. Oh, my grandma's fourth cousin on her mama's side got heart disease. Let me log in and go to the heart disease protocol. Knock that out real quick. Oh, my, the owner of the doggy daycare that I send my dog to when I go on vacation has toenail fungus. Let me go to that. Like literally everything. It's crazy for a dollar per day. Change your life. And learn how to make money so that every day's Friday. I know every I know today's Friday and everybody's excited. False excitement. Because 99% of us have to go back to our miserable life on Monday that we hate. So we use Friday evening, Saturday, and Sunday to mask the pain in our real life. Instead of actually figuring out, it's kind of like, like health, right? Instead of improving our health. Instead of actually healing ourselves, we just take pills or drink liquor, whatever, to mask the real pain in our life or to mask the illnesses and not really actually fix it, right? When you should actually get rid of it instead of masking it with nonsense. It's the same thing with your, with your success, right? Right? 
the same thing. They give you a little bit of freedom on Friday evenings, Saturdays, and Sundays, maybe. Maybe. And what do you do? You mask the pain of your real life, which is your Monday through Friday, by going out, getting drunk, popping pills, messing with a bunch of chicks, riding on a bunch of dudes, sucking on a bunch of, licking on a bunch of, uh, eating a bunch of unhealthy food, going and partying, out and about, and whatever. Just trying to squeeze in all this fun because you're only masking the fact you have to go back to your miserable life on Monday. I'm going to keep it real with you know about when nobody else will. When what you need to do is figure out how to, just like we talked about with the body, you need to figure out how to heal your bank account and escape freedom so that you can get your life back. Just like improving your health helps you get your life back. Many of you will improve your health and you still don't really have your life because your boss has your life. Your job has your life. They tell you when you can go on vacation. They tell you when you can enjoy a sunny day. They tell you when you can eat lunch. They tell you when you can get off of your child's birthday, you know, like, so do you really have a life? Uh, you really just got like Saturdays because Sundays you're using to prep for the week and mentally get ready and get your rest. You got to go to bed early so you can get ready for the week. And or do your meal prep or whatever, and you got to squeeze all your laundry and your dishes and the sweeping and the that and the grocery store and making sure your kids are good for the week and all that. So did you really get how much time do you really got? Somebody comment free game. Some of you just need to wake up your mindset, your mindset. Your mindset. You follow me? So yeah, I teach you how to get successful in the university also. $29.99, change your life. Facts. Testimonials to prove it. People's credit scores going up 100 points in less than two months. Posted one other day, went up 150 points in like a month and a half. Making more money. I teach you how to grow on social media. I teach you how to whatever. Trade stocks, how to read the set the indicators, how to do the parabolic SARS and the SMA and the EMA and the Fibonacci retracement and how to know when to get in, when to get out, which ones to buy, how to even make money when it's like, it's crazy. It's, you know what it is? It's bananas. It's bananas. Baby bananas. This is bananas. Be Hey, 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 hey. I'm about to drink, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm about to finish this. I feel like I gave y'all enough free game. We had some fun. Joked, gave us some motivation. Told you what you need to do if you need help with anything. All the herbs, link in the bio. CMOS, CMOS gel, CMOS capsules, whatever. Prove your iron levels, iron tonic, whatever. Link in the bio. Everything you need, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, go ahead and click that thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell. All my live replays are uploaded to my YouTube channel. And yeah, Holistic Health University, $29.99, a dollar per day to change your life. Detailed protocols for every single disease and illness, what herbs, how to mix them, how to make them, how to prepare them, where to get them from, what amino acids, how many milligrams to each, all that stuff, weekly calls, live yoga class every single week, live workout with a personal trainer every single week, Q&As with me. What else? What else? What else? Private Telegram group, private Facebook group. Get all my eBooks for free. What else? What else? What else? Take you from beginner expert on 10 different streams income. Take you from beginner expert on holistic health. 20 plus hours worth of holistic health content. I don't even know how many hours worth of financial content. Dollar per day. $29.99. Healthandfinanceuniversity.com. That's my only website. Everybody else is scamming you. Click the link in my bio. I see people sending out fake emails to get my eBook for four dollars and y'all are buying it and getting scammed don't get scammed if it ain't coming from the link in my bio if it ain't from one of the link clicks on my story where you can click the link or if it ain't health and finance university.com and guess what you got got it wasn't me so yeah i know it's crazy but you know my phrase. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Because it's that simple. I don't believe in. 
if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses. Nothing to it. But to do it. <coughs> Choking on the seat. Point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. And everything I say, I live by it. When I was severe Crohn's disease, the doctors told me. When I had severe anxiety. When I had severe back pain to the point I couldn't even walk on a treadmill. When I had sleep apnea when I was 275 pounds. When I was dead broke. About to be homeless. Right? All that stuff. Three years. <coughs> three years ago. I think I'm choking on water, man. See? <coughs> Every single day, I still woke up and said, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Because it's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I'm going to get it done. No excuses. Nothing to it. But to do it. I'll point my finger in the mirror if I blew it and I take accountability. That's the facts. That's the facts. Some of you got to look in the mirror, start talking shit to yourself. Problem is, you ain't talking enough shit to yourself. And the problem is, you're getting, you might be getting bullied or whatever else. And you might actually, they might actually be right. They might be calling you uneducated and you might actually be uneducated. They might be calling you unhealthy and overweight and you might actually be unhealthy and overweight. So, are you going to do something about it or are you going to keep complaining? And making excuses and saying, people keep saying this about me. Then change it. Because if it affects you, that means you're not ha unhappy with yourself internally anyway, if it even affects you. Like somebody can talk shit about me right now and be like, I don't know, you're fat. That wouldn't hurt me. Because I know that's not the case, right? <laughs> so if someone calls you fat and you actually are, it would hurt your feelings, right? So that means deep down you know that you need to get your body fat down, right? I'm going to keep it real with you and nobody else will. But nobody else will, right? Just do it. Do what you got to do. Because it's that simple. We, if you watching me, we don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. We get it done. No excuses. Nothing to it but to do it. Point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. Wherever you're at. If you're broke right now. It's your fault. I know you didn't have the best upbringing. I know you didn't grow up with rich parents. I know you didn't this. I know you didn't graduate high school like I didn't. I know your daddy's a crackhead like mine is. I know you was in LD classes like me. I know this. It's still your fault. It still was my fault when I was dead broke. When I was 275 pounds, sick, anxiety, all that stuff, Crohn's disease, it was my fault. I was eating the trash. I was stressed because of other things. So that's my fault. Everything's my fault. Everything's my fault. If I have a bad day, something I did caused that bad day. Even if someone else brought some negative energy to, towards me, somehow I find a way to blame myself. Because if I blame external forces and blame the world, I'm never going to get better. I'm just going to keep declining. And I'm always got to always gotta go up. It's like a stock chart, right? Which I teach you in my university, right? You're never you're going to see read a stock chart and see it go straight up like this. You're never going to see that, right? But as long as it's, oh, dip, okay, dip, bad, dip. Boom, get that jump back up. <laughs> we got to keep climbing. We never going bearish. We never going bearish. We only going bullish. You only going bullish 24 seven, mentally, physically, emotionally, everything got to go up and go right. If it starts going bearish, we need to, we got to make some trades. We got to make some trades, right? We got to make some trades and get that joint back up. But it's normal for there to be those dips. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth for me to get my health how it is now, it wasn't smooth and easy. But it was easy because I told myself it was easy. But in reality, what the world perceives as easy, it wasn't easy. But for me, it was easy. Because every day, it's easy. It's easy. Right? You following me? You think it's easy? Like, you think it's easy to make $100,000 per month? You think you're going to make $100,000 per month by playing Xbox, spending your Saturday and Sunday nights, seeing what shorty you're going to link up with, seeing what dude you're going to link up with on Tinder. You think you're going to make $100,000 and save your family, pay your family's bills, be successful, even if it's not about money. 
wherever you consider success, do you think you're going to get that? A lot of you, like close your eyes, dream of like what your what is success for you? Is it money? Is it paying your mom's bills? Is it just having all the free time in the world? Maybe you're only making 50000 a year, but you're doing it yourself and you don't have a boss and you got all this free time, right? And it's passive and residual. Whatever it may be for you, right? Vision that. Close your eyes. Think of it. Take 10 seconds. Do a quick like, all right, I want this, this. I want to pay my mom's bills. I want to make X amount of dollars. I want to drive my dream car. I want to make sure I have perfect health. I want a six-pack. I want a bubble booty. I want I want to be able to travel at least three times per month, go out of the country. Whatever it is for you, right? Just name it off random stuff. Now, listen, listen to your internal, that voice in your head that just said that. And now ask yourself, look in the mirror and say, is that going to be, am I, am I going to get that by chilling? Is that going to be easy? No. No. It's not. If you flat back Keisha right now, okay, if your nickname's flat back Keisha and you want that big fat booty that you keep seeing on Instagram, it's not going to be easy. All right, you got to do a lot of eating correctly, a lot of booty workouts, right? Or you might be broke. So you might have to put in a lot of work of educating yourself so you can come up with a clean 20 stacks, 10 if you go to DR, to get that BBL, right? So either way, you have to put some work in. Flat back Keisha, okay? <laughs> you know I joke with y'all. Usually offended my page ain't for you. But I'm keeping it real. Like one way or the other, you're going to have to put some work in. If you got if you got OnlyFans and you're using that to raise the 10 stacks to get the BBL, you're gonna have to put some work in in those, in those videos. You ain't about to be just half-ass booty to the side pics with a dress. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to get nasty and spit on yourself. Like, I'm just telling you, it's gonna take some effort. Whatever realm, <laughs> whatever realm you choose to, whatever route you choose to go. It ain't going to come easy. It ain't going to come easy, right? If I wanted to stop what I was doing now and be successful, again, I talk, <laughs> it's a form of marketing, but you know sex sells, right? So if I wanted to become a successful OnlyFans model right now, me as myself, right? It ain't going to come easy. I have to be stroking. I got to be stroking. I got to get the angles. I got to get the lighting down. I got to make sure my health, I'm eating a lot of watermelon so I can constantly stay Hard and strong for the videos, right? I might have, I gotta look at the analytics of other top creators and understand why they got so many followers and they're making uh, 20,000 per month off OnlyFans and I'm not. It's a lot of work, right? Whatever, like literally, I'm using that because it's like, whatever. If you wanna be a video gamer, it's not gonna come easy. You're gonna have to stream for four, six, 10 hours per day and I think them top streamers be streaming like 12 hours per day. You got to know how to set up the, get the little box of yourself in the corner of the video game. You got to practice and be the best at 2K and know how to do everything perfect and be winning it because they only want to see if you good. Whatever the case may be. Y'all follow me? I know y'all laughing. I know y'all laughing, but you know I'm saying some real shit, right? Somebody comment some ones if you listen, if you follow what I'm saying. Just keeping it real with you. I already talked about health for about an hour straight. Now we on mindset. I already did the Q&A's. You late, Shawty. You late. Talk about everything. Don't try to box me in. Talk about health. Talk about wealth. Talk about mindset. Talk about everything. So again... Maybe when you get off of here, envision your dream life, understand, look at yourself in the mirror and understand it's not going to come easy. It may take some time. You have to trick yourself into telling yourself that it's easy though, because you have to manifest these things so that you can materialize it. And again, if you're practicing, if you're manifesting and doing all that stuff and you haven't materialized anything, then something's off with your manifestation. It could be the food. If you're eating nothing but dead food with negative energy in it and you think you're going to get something positive. 
then uh, that might be an issue right there, right? Or maybe you're doing too much manifesting and not taking enough action, so that's why you're never materializing anything, right? <clears throat> so whatever your religion is, whether you pray in, whether you set Indian style and do this, whether you chant, whether you, whatever you do, whether you light some sage, whether you got your crystals, whether you do all that in combination, whether you pray to Jesus, whether you pray to whatever, it doesn't matter what it is, but once you do that, once you finish talking to Jesus or whoever you talk to, right? Now, Jesus or whoever you talk to or the universe, whatever, is looking at you like, all right, now go put some work in. Go put some work in so you can bring this positive energy that you just prayed for, that you just asked for to yourself. Because it's already out there. So for me, personally, I'm not religious. I don't pray. I don't ask. I tell the energy to come to me, right? That's just how I do it, right? I never... Everybody, please, my, please, my car broke down. Please, can you, can you please somehow give me a, a new engine for my car? And please, I need to come up with two thousand dollars. Please, please, please. Nah, I'm more of like a. I already know the options out there. I already know a new engine for my car is already out there, right? I already know that it's an option. I already know I put enough positive energy out every single day. I know I'm bringing enough value to the world every single day, and my positive energy is just making the world a better place. So I know I deserve a new engine for my car. So go ahead and bring that to me. Bring it to me sooner than later. I'm a, as soon as I'm open my eyes up, I'm going to put the work in to, you know, to bring it to me and know I deserve it and everything like that. But I know it's coming. Thank you in advance. I already know it's coming. Appreciate you. Universe. Come on. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. That's just me though. Do what works for you. Do what works for you. So, me personally, I don't beg. I don't plead. I put the work in. I know it's it's already an option. You want to be rich? It's already an option. You want to make fifty thousand a month? It's already an option. You want to have a nice car? It's already an option. You want to pay your mom's bills? It's already an option, right? Somebody else is doing it. Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions, are already doing something that you're asking for. So therefore, it's already an option. I don't have to cross my fingers and say, I wish, I wish, please. I know, I already know. I just got to do what I'm supposed to do. I know I got to be positive every single day. I know I need to bring positivity to the world. I need, I need to figure out a way to bring value to the world. I need to make the world smile. I need to make the world happier. I need to make the world, for me personally, make the world more money. I need to make the world more peaceful. I need to make sure I'm treating people correctly. When I'm out and about, in my personal life, whatever. And I already know that's going to bring the positive energy to me. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Yeah, again, do what, you, again, I'm not here to judge. Don't judge me. Yeah, just claim it. If you believe in God, pray to God. If you don't believe in God, whatever you pray to, however you meditate, whatever, do what works for you, right? Do what works for you, you know? But yeah, I don't ask. I don't pray in the stereotypical way that most people pray. That's just me. I don't judge you. If you practice whatever, if you're Muslim, if you're Christian, if you wanted a other type, if you seven day Adventist, if you Catholic, if you, it doesn't matter. The point is the same. The point is the same. And in many of those books, again, I used to be really, really, I used to be really Christian and all that stuff. There's positive things in there that you can pull from it. So as long as you're pulling in the positive things, it's doing something positive for you and giving you a positive mindset so you can go out and be a good person for the universe. That's all that matters. And I'm telling you, if you do those things, if you practice the principles in the Quran, if you practice some of the principles in the Bible, if you practice the principles of like whatever you subscribe to, you can, uh, you can manifest and materialize good things for yourself. I just told you how I pray. How's it? Wake up, stand on the balcony, and command it. I command it. I tell it. I already know it's an option. I do. Solar gazing is typically how I, what you would consider praying. That's when you're watching at the sun, watching the sunset. Thirty minutes. Once it's like thirty minutes before sunset, you can stare directly into the sun. Right. At that point, it doesn't hurt your eyes. You can stare directly into it. And if you really get good at it and experience, like when I look into it, it's like it turns black. It's like a black hole. 
and it's like a whole ring around it. It's crazy. And I get hypnotized and I'm just speaking positive affirmations, right? Positive affirmations, you know, again, telling the universe to bring positive things to me. I'm not asking. I'm not begging. I'm just speaking it into existence, right? You know, you know, again, whatever you believe in, just telling you how I do it. I'm not going to tell you who to talk to, how to, what to do every single day, all that stuff. I do what I do. I do what I feel works for me. Seems to be working for me. And I'm going to stick with it. All right. I, I did the other ways. I did the other ways. Yeah, I don't, I don't say amen, none of that stuff. I don't do that. But if you do, you do. All right? Whatever makes you happy and smile. Right? But if you're saying amen, you might want to know what amen means or what it comes from. I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. But I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. Some of us be saying stuff. We don't know what we're saying. We don't know none of that. But yeah. I look to the sun and solar gaze because I know when there wasn't no TVs, when there wasn't no televisions, when there wasn't no books, when there wasn't no Europeans that came over and gave us no books or nothing like that, right? And we was just chilling in the jungle. We might have been, we might have been painting our face. We might have been setting Indian style, as they call it. We might have been dancing and chanting and making weird noises, which is very similar to what they could, would consider voodoo nowadays because anything black is bad. So we got to figure out a way to flip what they doing into something bad. So it's voodoo, it's bad, it's bad. Right, right, right. But that might have been what we were doing before the ships came over. Might have been. It might have been. We might have been looking at the sun because we ain't have no alarm clocks. And we know when the sun come up, that wake us up. We know when it's a sunny day, we have a more positive day. We know we're getting our vitamins from the sun, right? A different spectrum, but a different spectrum than the light because we get all our vitality from the sun, which is where the word vitamin comes from. Vita men, Vita for vitality, amen, amen, Ra, the sun god, which is why you say amen when you pray, but you don't even know why you're saying that. Hey, I don't know though. I might be crazy. I might be crazy. That's all. That's all. So yeah, I get all my vitality from Vita. <laughs> if you usually offended, my page ain't for you. You ain't got to believe in what I believe in. I might not believe what you believe in, but I know one thing. If you listen... I'm going to help you improve your health, your mindset, your pockets, your life. And you know, I'm going to increase that smirk percentage. I'm going to make you smirk a little bit. I'm out on that note before we get too deep and I lose too many followers. <laughs> hey, and even this thing I got on for the Native Americans, the, the Native Americans might have even been African American. I'm out. I'll holler at y'all later. <laughs> Peace out. Let me finish my watermelon. Holla at y'all later. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Talk your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was spirituality before the Bible was written. Hey, hey, you might be on something. Hey, I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs>